video. As you can tell by the title down below, I have arrived back in Arambol, back in Goa, and just really happy to be back here. I feel so peaceful and calm. It's so quiet here. I was living next to building in Rishikesh for a little while. Uh, I feel like this time in Rishikesh was just a whole lot of lessons and learning detachment and you know shattering all my expectations and which I shouldn't have in the first place but Rishikesh is really good like that and I really appreciate that place for that exact reason gives you everything you need <laughs> then you come out of it again with a whole new perspective don't you so grateful for all of it but yeah happy to be back here enjoying the ocean enjoying the sunshine i don't even know when we're going to edit this vlog because i've got a couple more before this but i was feeling inspired to talk to you today pretty much i have just been painting and doing my work online um lots of yoga again because i've got a nice space here to actually practice and so that's nice and yeah i thought i would just show you some little glimpses of being back in Arambol. My hair is a mess because I just kind of woke up and have been painting and yeah I hope you're doing well. I hope you're happy and healthy and some places of the world seem to be going back into lockdown so that's um yeah crazy. Here it just feels like also you have to wear your masks but it also feels like a pandemic doesn't really exist. It's like everything's seemingly normal besides the fact that it's fucking dead <laughs> quiet <laughs> I started to practice more tattooing as well so I've started on my feet <laughs> um, I'm gonna add a little bit more to this one and go over it one more time it's quite painful on your feet and then do the same on this foot as well This is the painting I've been working on over the past month. I really wanted to film it properly for you guys, but I was so engrossed in actually painting, I forgot. <laughs> so yeah, it is a traditional Rajasthani woman from India here. I painted it in oil paint, and this is my really poor attempt at filming it, just little snippets. I love to see the light, the sunset, is really beautiful here in my little apartment and yeah finally I was so close to finishing and I remembered to film a little bit of time lapse for you guys and it's, it's cool it's really cool to be able to see the beginning and the end obviously <laughs> yeah I'm gonna stop rambling about it now It is me coming at you from the future. I have just been editing this video over the last couple of days and now I have been, oh, I've got some really exciting news. I have been working on getting these prints printed and <laughs> they arrived and now I can officially say that I'm able to share my paintings with you. You will be able to buy these prints, they're for sale. Um, I think I'm going to make an Etsy, so it is, the link will be down below here in the description, that, or you can message me on Instagram and we'll organize. So yeah, I am selling them for seven uh, US dollars, around about that, and selling for 10 New Zealand dollars. <laughs> um, but basically I am just really happy to share with you whatever you want to pay. If you are unable to pay that much, then just uh, yeah, send me a message on Instagram because I know it can be a lot for people who are not living in the West. Um, I'm just so excited, so, so excited to share them with you. And let me know what you think about possible bigger prints. Again, if you do want a bigger print, then totally just message me on Instagram. My handle is Kate Moore Loves. I'm going to write it down below as well 
and yeah continue on with the rest of the video Can we just talk about Indian kitchens? <laughs> I don't understand why this tile is here. Hello, it's actually been about a month since I have picked up my vlogging camera. It's probably been only a few seconds for you though, so who's to know? <laughs> um, this vlog is kind of a little bit all over the place because I'm pretty much putting all of the clips that I took of the last few months since arriving in Goa in November together. And it's just fascinating to watch me from like two months ago as I usually am very much like in good timing with my vlogs you know alongside real life however i digress and pretty much i just wanted to do that just show you guys what i've been up to a little bit so i'm just going to insert some clips of opening shantaram here in goa and other bits and pieces let's see i've actually edited it all together already so yeah enjoy <laughs> So Arambol is actually a seasonal tourist town which means it is only open pretty much from November through till April. The rest of the year there is pretty much no foreigners here, very little foreigners and not much going on. So that means in the off season we completely pack it up. It is very prone to the monsoony, windy, rainy, rainy weather because we are just really close to the beach there and really high on the rooftop. So yeah, lots of cleaning, lots of scrubbing, um, and scrubbing and scrubbing, <laughs> and painting, and painting some more. This season we, yeah, painted this wall yellow, which is really nice. It kind of completely brightened up the space, which was really nice. Um, yeah, so anyway, we just pack it up completely and then build it back up again and you'll see, you'll see what it looks like at the end here. So much fun scrubbing the floor. Very tiring, but very satisfying. The most satisfying job ever. We officially have a floor. Beautiful, isn't it? Good morning world. I love my view from the jungle so much. Besides this pylon, but I assume he gives me internet connection, so it's not so bad. And I just sit up here watching the birds, watching the chipmunks. It's really lovely. This here is my current creation station. I just despise this colour. Um, my landlord won't let me paint the walls white at this stage. You know, I've got purple and I've got faded orange. However, <laughs> I just love this space so much. This is what I'm working on at the moment. 
it is an agori baba and so that's just one layer done i think i'll be spending a lot more time on him watch this space this is the little note i wrote for myself because i like got to a point where this was a priority <laughs> So things that make me happy. Do at least two of these things daily. Make your mental health a priority. Clean the house because that is always motivating and it's just nice to have a clean space around. At least half an hour of yoga. Dance, meditate, spend time painting, journal, play ukulele, call somebody, love, go into the ocean, read a book, cook a meal and walk on the beach. Basically, I figured if I do at least two things daily out of here, um, I'm going to be more joyful and more peaceful in my life. Uh, and so this is my basin. Hello. I keep it right here so that I'm reminded every single time I wash my hands, go to the washroom or brush my teeth. Um, yeah, my mirror is dirty. <laughs> I think this is just really nice. As I said, I needed to see it physically because I was just in a really bad place for a week or so there. I don't usually eat a lot of papaya, but lately my body has just been craving it. My body has been craving all things orange, actually. <laughs> so I'm just listening to that. And yeah, I'm so good and so good for you. The good things about living in a tropical climate, tropical fruits. what I've been up to for the last couple of months super busy but mostly just enjoying life I'm a little bit homesick still an update my sister had her little beautiful baby poppy on the 2nd of January it is 2021 guys so happy new year <laughs> I feel so blessed to have a tiny little beautiful baby niece and I'm really excited to meet her when I managed to get home to that side of the world um, yeah I'm feeling good about 2021 mostly I didn't set any goals for this year. I decided to set an intention of how I want to feel. and I want to feel relaxed and I want to bring a lot more softness and feminine energy into my daily life and the way I treat myself in order to extend love and yeah, just kindness into the world in general. I'm very hard on myself. So I wanted to just set, you know, the intention of feeling soft and the intention of feeling compassion towards myself and love towards myself, rather than setting goals, which I usually do. So that's something that's a little bit different for me. I would love to hear maybe some words which you would like to embody this year um, down below if you want to let me know. Yeah, I think it's really nice to think of words and ways you want to feel rather than the rigidness of setting goals because it does often of course it's very nice to have goals but yeah it's just something a little bit different <laughs> uh, if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up for me and yeah thank you thank you thank you i love you i love you i love you on the mushy vibe let it be alive let it be alive yeah spirit of your faith will always rise Whatever is coming through, let it come through